Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Death Beach here, and in today's video, I'm gonna riff a little bit on blockchain technology, Web3, and like, what the fuck is going on with all this stuff? Why is it important? Why should you care, right? I know that's what everybody's thinking. Now, before we get into this, I wanna remind everybody that on December 3rd, I'm gonna be doing another Crypto Fireside chat, completely free with hard drive. Uh, link down below in the description box. Also, coming up in December, I'm doing the Music NFT Hackathon, December 14th through the 16th, three days long. I won't go into it too hard here. Link down below in the description box. Also, Crypto Music Club, link down below. That is the premier place to come over and join the conversation on all of these topics and what's going on. Now, before we dive too far into all of the things we're gonna dive into, I'm gonna show you guys pools. The website is updated. Uh, things are moving along really well. Uh, doing our first drop in December. Of course, this is a project uh, that I'm just advising on, but they are crushing it right now. Uh, first two coins dropping in December with Blondish, with Carlita. Really looking forward to this. Very exciting. Also, you got to get in early. Do you know what I'm saying? So as soon as this is about to launch, I'm going to let you know so that you can do the right thing and get on over here and get in early on something. Now, what is blockchain? Blockchain is a database, essentially. A ledger where things are appended to it permanently, but also in a very trustless manner. We can trust the blockchain. We don't have to trust third parties. Also, the blockchain's permissionless. We don't need anybody to grant us permission in order to use it. In the case of permissionless ones, there are permissioned ones. So blockchain is a type of DLT, a decentralized ledger technology. Decentralized simply means that the information for the entire blockchain, all of the transactions, everything that's put on the blockchain is spread around on a whole bunch of computers all around the world. They all hold a copy of it. Now, if one of them turns off, all the other ones are on. This is different than a centralized system where all the information would be stored in one place. This comes to risk for attacks, things breaking down, power outages, things of this nature. However, blockchains are notoriously slow. So you may do a hybrid of some blockchain and centralized uh, backend for your website. Now, the way that we interact with this website is gonna be completely the same as we're used to, except we're gonna maybe log in with our wallets. And that logging in with our wallets is the use of Web3 technology. Web3 technology is going to allow us to do things like create NFTs and move around the blockchain and other people who have our NFTs to move around the blockchain while maintaining their assets everywhere that they go. The goal is for it to not even be on the blockchain that they're on, but for them to go to any blockchain, carrying the asset from any other blockchain and it all being recognized everywhere. That is the world that we're moving to. And Web3, again, is the technology that uh, communicates interfaces between us and the blockchain. And NFTs are a way that we also interface with the blockchain, with our work, with our content. And the world that we're moving into, the creator economy that we're moving into, where sites like pools, are going to supply the tokenization of communities to empower them via Web3 technology to achieve whatever it is that they want to achieve. Now, if you want to begin to see an example of this, you can come on over to the Crypto Music Club, my Discord channel. And if you have a Knowledge is Power NFT, or if you're eligible for one and you haven't tried to get it, you need to get it so that you can come on over and see the hidden channels and the hidden content that is in the Discord waiting for you right now. But what does this all mean? 
To me, this means that there are going to be completely new ways to monetize what you're doing, and they're going to be more meaningful, and you're going to know where and when and why and really how to do them because your community is going to let you know, and that community is ultimately going to form online like they already are forming online. Live performances online are about to completely blow up. There are too many sites getting ready to host live performances, integrating with your DAWs to give you the sound that you want, with the camera setup that you want to broadcast and deliver the live performance you want, maybe with a green screen behind you. Maybe you have a warehouse or a garage that you can just really deck out with a really cool live show charge five bucks. I don't know. How many people can you get? A thousand? Who knows? Charge 10 bucks. Who cares? Do it for free. Who knows? Monetize something else. There are so many opportunities that Web3 is going to open up for us with uh, gated content, gated live streams, hidden content, integrating into games integrating into other people's universes. Like if I have the death token, right? As my social token, you can accept it in your store. And maybe you and I have some sort of partnership that allows for us to do that. That benefits my community. And I can also accept your token and that benefits your community. And together, maybe we can accomplish something really cool. Crypto Music Club all about education in the music and NFT space. If that sounds good to you, I should see you over there pretty soon. Uh, I'll be working on some more videos. Talk to you soon.